Hey everybody, Brian Nutter at Summit Racing here, and with me today, a very special guest. Uh, it's Lake Speed from Total Seal. Thank you, Brian. And we've been working on a project for a while now, and it's been very, very top secret. In fact, the entire technology has been relatively top secret up to this point, and it's really right now, it's ready for the masses. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and tell them about our new gas-ported ring sets. Exactly. So as Brian mentioned, this is a gas-ported ring set, and you may have heard of gas-ported pistons, right? And there's a previous video we did that if you really wanted to get into understanding how gas ports work and why they're beneficial, I'd say check out that video. But the idea before was you were limited. Right. Either you had gas-ported pistons or you didn't. In a lot of cases, you weren't even allowed to have gas ported by the rules. Right, and that's really the origin story of this product is that we had racers that by class rules couldn't run gas ported pistons, but as the engine builders knew, gas ports work better. Right. So if you can't put it in the piston, let's try put putting it in the, it in the ring. ring instead. So once we started putting gas ports in the ring, we started to learn some things that actually the gas ports in the ring work better than putting gas ports in the piston. Nice. So it's like, wait, this is kind of cool technology where before it was always said you couldn't run a gas ported piston on the street. Cause That's right. They carbon up and they do this and they do that. Right. Well, the reality is this gas ported ring solves all those problems. And like you said, we've been working on this project for a while of really engineering a solution mm -hmm. to have a, not just a gas ported top ring, but a complete ring package System. Right. designed and optimized for street performance grassroots racing pistons. Right, so that's a big thing that we're doing, you know, always here at Summit Racing. You know, we've got, you know, basically racers all over the map. We've got road racers, drag racers, circle track racers. We got, you know, land speed, we got marine people. We, we sell a ton of pistons, anything from a cast piston up to a hyper eutectic to an entry level forge on up to a 12 or $1,300, you know, mm -hmm. pro race piston that has gas ports. We've got them all. But the cool thing about it is, is that we basically are coming out with ring sets for every bore size, for every common piston. So in the olden days, I'm gonna use that word olden, mm -hmm. they, they had a 564s, 564s, 316s ring pack. Huge, heavy, oh, yeah. high friction, really terrible. Uh, just no good, right? But it's still commonly used today. And it's an inexpensive ring and it's an inexpensive piston. So we get it, a lot of people have to use it. Still not good. So what can we do for you? we can gas port, we can make that piston ring behave much better, basically, right. you know, working when it has to. So from there, we go down into the 16, 16, 3 16, which is sort of high performance, but not really. Then you've got the 043, 043, three mil, mm -hmm. which has been used basically since the 70s, racier even yet. Then we get all into the, the German, and it's not even really German or, or European at this point. It's been used on all the OE stuff really since the 80s is the 15153s, the 12123s, and now the 112 millimeter ring sets right. that are commonly used on the MALA. Exactly. So, so basically, any piston we carry in any bore size, you are going to find a GPX ring set for it. GP stands for gas ported X for just awesome. Right. Experimental, except for it's okay. not. So, so the Summit uh, Pro GPX rings are really just a ring that you can put into a fairly inex uh, inexpensive set of pistons and get them to behave like a set of pistons that costs double the amount. So with that, you wanna tell them a little bit more about what they can expect. You know, the power is one thing, but the blow by reduction is a huge. And that is a big part. That was the one thing that we kind of were surprised when we started doing this, because obviously the racers are all about power. They can care less about anything Wide else. open throttle all the time. Right. But when we started doing some dyno testing, we started to see no matter what engine we put this in, an LS, small block Chevy, a single cylinder engine, didn't matter. We started to see lower blow by. And the other thing too is it was flat with RPM. Yeah. Typically as an engine it goes like this, like a ski jump, yeah. uh, this stuff, no, she's flat. So we are able to see not only increases in horsepower, but that increase in or reduction in blow by that's huge because you know blow by is the enemy of your oil yes, and the oil is the lifeblood sure. of your motor so if you contaminate the oil you're hurting your engine life right so really what we're seeing with the gas ported ring is that it's enabling 
less blow by, which is going to make your oil live longer, work better, longer engine life. And the thing is, you're not having to run some kind of low tension, dangerous ring package that may fall apart or cause you know oil consumption. No, no, no. We've really done the homework on this yeah. and fine tune between that top ring design, the second ring design, the oil ring tension, all that has all been engineered so that you can really run these in a street application and get great performance. So the fun part about this, when he's talking about the engineered sets, is once you get into something where you have a gas ported top ring, all of a sudden you can run lower tension on the seconds, you can run lower tension on the oils, and that's a reduction in friction, and that's where a lot of your horsepower shows mm -hmm. up. So you get the, the reduction in blow by, but then you also get, you know, just better compression, you know, in a couple different ways in the reduction of friction. There, there, there. The other thing that's gonna happen is because we're having a chance to do this whole thing all at once, is we can basically re-engineer the oil ring package. Right. We were talking a little bit earlier about how the less expensive pistons out there run a 3 16 oil ring. Mm -hmm. He and I basically look at a 3 16 oil ring and we just kind of shudder in fear because it's really- dinosaur, it's like, no. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 this is not the right way to do things, but it's legacy. It's always mm -hmm. been out there. It's always probably going to be out there. So what can we do to put a more modern ring into this place on your piston? And basically what we have is something with the tension, uh, but the same unit loading Right. Uh, it, it, that's, the, that's the real key there. So we're going right. to have thinner rails in the tuned in tension so we have the right, correct unit loading. Uh, basically, so we have a ring that measures 3 sixteenths. It fits in the groove, but it's going to have less friction overall. When you drag that piston up and down the bore, you're going to be making horsepower right there. Right. It's kind of like essentially a 3 16 ring that kind of acts like a 3 millimeter ring. In a lot of ways. Yeah, because right. that's the whole thing. People don't realize that the, they saw a standard tension ring. Well, there's right. no such thing as a standard tension ring based on the ring size, be it a 3 16th, a 3 millimeter, a 2 millimeter, a 2.8, or a 2.5, or a 4. Yep. That tension varies. And sometimes they're too high, which causes more bore wear, generates heat, friction, yes. which is, you know, robs power, makes your engine run hotter. But you can also be too low of tension, too. Smoking, yeah. And smoking, oil consumption, things like that. So, again, with our decades of experience doing this, we are able to say, hey, you know what? For a wet sump, street type engine hey this tension set this on kill is going to be right it's going to it's going to get the job done it's not going to be dangerous this side it's not going to be too conservative over here it's going to give you just right you know go right. locks in the three bears not too hot not too cold just right. right we found that balance and that's what we're delivering with this gpx ring package is exactly what you need for the application and if you had to put it in a dry sump motor it'd be okay yep so rock and roll so with that if, I'll basically say this, that because we're going to introduce these rings basically across the board, every bore size for every piston that exists on the market here today, here within five to six years, if you're not building an engine with gas ported rings, you're basically going to be in the dark ages here with this technology because it's... Leaving the change on the table. That's right. That's right. And, you know, like we do, we keep everything inexpensive, a great value here at Summit Racing. So with that, I want to say thank you for coming by here today and explaining some things here for, for folks. And, Happy and to do it. We appreciate the opportunity, and I look forward to hearing the feedback from everybody when they start trying these things out. It's going to be awesome what it does for the masses. So oh, yeah. with that, if you want to see some pretty cool content, you know, some text, some installs, all that great stuff, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and all the good stuff. And we'll see you here at summitracing.com.